In this video, you will see what is the cabin altitude and what is the real altitude of the aircraft. You will see that these numbers are completely different, even though they are still applicable to the same aircraft. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. V1, rotate. As you know, an aircraft has a real altitude, which is the difference in feet between your aircraft and the mean sea level, and a cabin altitude. What is the difference? Well, let's say that today, the real altitude of our aircraft is 35 thousand feet, which is a normal cruise altitude of an airliner, such as the 737 or the Airbus 720. Okay, so the real altitude of the aircraft, the difference between the aircraft and the mean sea level is 35,000 feet. As you know, you cannot live there long because the air is very, is not dense, so it's not breathable. And that altitude, depending on your physical health, you can stay there for 20, 30 seconds maximum. So what do you need in order to stay at that altitude for one hour, two hours and so on? You need an environment that is pressurized and air conditioned. And inside the cabin where you have the seat where the passengers are staying, that is an, air, an environment that is pressurized. So the cabin altitude is the altitude that you have inside the cabin and the pilots can see that on the instrumentation. And the real altitude is the actual altitude of the aircraft. So an aircraft flying at 35,000 feet has, for example, a cabin altitude of 5,000 feet. So you can see that the passengers and the pilots and the crew uh, in, in general are experiencing 5,000 feet inside the cabin. However, the real altitude of the aircraft is 35,000 feet. As you can see, this creates a differential pressure between the pressure that is around the aircraft, the outside pressure, and the, air, the pressure that is inside the cabin. Okay, This is called differential pressure. And as a part, you need to monitor the cabin altitude to make sure that it doesn't rise too much. You need to monitor the differential pressure to make sure that it stays within the limitations. Okay, Because every aircraft has a differential pressure is actually a limit, a limitation on the aircraft. Because you don't want to have this differential pressure being too high because you can get uh, some structural damage, okay? Because inside the cabin, the pressure is higher since you are experiencing 5,000 feet inside the cabin and the aircraft, uh, around the aircraft, you're experiencing the pressure of 35,000 feet. You see that the aircraft will tend, will have the tendency to expand. So that's why we have a limitation on differential pressure. The higher this difference, the, the higher will be the expansion of the aircraft because the pressure inside the cabin is higher compared to the pressure around the aircraft. So as you can see, the cabin altitude is what you're experiencing inside the aircraft, which is usually during cruise, is between five and seven and a half thousand feet, and the real altitude is the actual altitude of the aircraft. So now I hope it's clear what is this difference, what is the cabin altitude and the the real altitude of the aircraft and also the differential pressure. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I will help you out. I wish you a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Check, we can set to 7-0 please.